My name is Oliver Dean and today I'd like to talk about a primarily business-based model of the world's economy brought about by the development of the internet. Let me introduce the long tail, a power law or a functional relationship between two quantities that is found in our economic culture. This is a phenomenon that stemmed from the theories of Wilfred Pareto, an Italian socialist and economist who observed an irregularity in society which was coined the Pareto Principle or the 80-20 law. He discovered that 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. A trend he noticed ranging from pea pods in his local area to wealth distribution in his culture. This has since evolved and revolutionised into a business management strategy recognised and practised worldwide. Since Pareto's principle became about in the early stages of the 20th century, it has been readdressed by Wired magazine author Chris Anderson. Contrary to the findings of Pareto, who did not see the potential for the 80% or the niche markets, Anderson claimed that smaller things have a larger scale impact. His research showed that digital technology has changed markets worldwide and by extension, business principles. According to New States editor Andrew Orlowski, Anderson's views on the power of the internet was distinctly evangelist and I would agree with this statement. I'm going to look at his findings and break them down. So imagine the long tail with popular sales along the left hand side here and niche products along the right hand side here. The number one product will have the most amount of sales and as the rank goes down the sales decrease along the tail. So the number one product would be here and the second last or the last product would be here at this truncation point. Now imagine a world before the internet and you wanted to go and see a film. Cinemas were limited by shelf space and they could only show a set amount of films due to a set amount of screens. Now the sales would become truncated or chopped off at this point and it would seem as if the marketplace is falling away. But really, there is evidence of a scarcity effect, or, as Anderson would po point out, a bottleneck in distribution. Now, with the growth of the internet, it has enabled the long tail to develop in a number of markets, and it allows consumers to follow the tail line along from the popular and the mainstream products towards a wider range available, to an almost infinite capacity. Of course, as rank decreases, sale decreases at the same time, known as niches, or very small products. The result is the mass markets being broken down through the reality that smaller markets of individual products will potentially outsize the mainstream goods. The long tail phenomenon is well documented. Much has been written in the entertainment industries by critics and enthusiasts alike. In 2008, Anita Albers and co-writer Professor Felix Olbhozegui wrote a paper titled Superstars and Underdogs in which they examined that the long tail at work in video sales in the US box office. Now, they found evidence in what they call the superstar effect, which takes the baseline factors of the niches of the long tail and reveals encroaching marketing challenges for the entertainment industry. I hope this video has established a better understanding of the long tail and the reality of the power of Web 2.0. We live in an age where shell space is no longer an issue. The infinity of the internet is a godsend for the niche markets.